hi welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm showing you how to make suya at home suya is one of the best nigerian street food so i'm using red beef i'm just going to wash the beef neatly then i start slicing it into smaller sizes this beef suya is very popular in nigeria not just in nigeria but west africa at large so once i'm done washing the beef i'm going to dry the water out a bit using my kitchen tissue paper so once i'm done doing that it's time for me to start slicing it bit by bit. So this part is very tricky. You just have to be patient doing that. So guys, I'll try as much as I can to slice it very tiny. So once I'm done slicing it, this is how it's going to look. Next, I'm going to put it in a bowl and then add sunflower oil, dry pepper, and then I'll add my maggi. Then I'm going to mix it up properly and then wrap it around with plastic foil. Put it in the fridge and let it stay there for about an hour before i make use of it i'm going to use this stick to pin the meat and then my suya spice i bought it in the shop so guys this is one of the most popular best nigerian street food you can't resist to buy honestly so do you know that you can also make chicken suya as well following the same method very simple and it tastes very very good if you're in nigeria living in diaspora you can't remember the last time you perceived the smell of suya on the street <laughs> so guys once i'm done pinning the beef next i'm going to pour out the suya spice and then place the meat on top of the the spices and try to coat it all over the beef there are several ways of making suya but the key ingredients is a quality meat if you buy meat that contains veins, it may not come out nicely as it will be hard to chew. So make sure when you buy your meat, you buy the better part of the meat. That way, your suya is going to come out nicely. So I'm just going to make sure that this spices covers the meat very well because this is what helps the meat to taste very well. Once I'm done coating the meat, it is time for me to put it in the oven. Next, I'm going to apply sunflower oil on the dryer and then start placing the meat one after the other in the oven. If your oven don't have oven grill, you can still use the main oven to dry your meat. Just set it in a low heat because we don't want the meat to get burnt. So after placing the meat, I'm going to leave it for about 30 to 40 minutes and then bring it out again. Apply some flour oil on top of it and then turn the meat the other side and let it dry again for another half an hour. So if you're having a party or you have a visitor, you want to give that person a nice treat, try this method, guys. You will never regret it. Come back in the comment section and leave a comment for me. So guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave a good comment and share. Okay, see you all on my next one. Bye.